I work as an artist in residence in the Faculty of Science at the University of Technology, Sydney. I work with people there and around the world to combine our perspectives on disruptions to natural patterns of change. Together we're building an animated interactive map to reconnect science and art with Indigenous knowledge that has for too long been missing from reports to the International Panel for Climate Change, the IPCC. The biggest water project in my life is learning and animating the life cycle of the Antarctic krill, Euphosia superba. And through that process of observing, reading papers, listening to people with different perspectives, I came to realise the interconnections between flows of water and flows of knowledge. My place is the ocean, and my language is animation, inspired by dance and drawing. I make animations to embody what I learn, in my quest to bring together the different ways of knowing that I grew up with, that come from colonial and Indigenous Australian world views. My place is the ocean, the ocean within, the ocean of the mind, imagination, and the ocean that connects all life. The most critical issues relating to water are ocean pollution and disruption to natural flows in rivers. These issues are critical to health of environment and health of people. Pollution and disruption to natural water flows come from deprivations of knowledge flows that run deep in people with new and ancient knowledge of relationships necessary to maintain balance between plants, animals and people. Enduring knowledge flows through new and ancient forms of language, through the arts and scientific data. Language reflects our place and our relationships. The primal forms in languages of art and data reflect the natural world and can be found in many cultures. The stories of relationship are vital for sustaining life. These stories come from our waterways. Yal Yal is the Gumbangir name for the three flowing lines that signify water. In Balkanji language, water is signified by concentric circles. When animated, the primal forms bring to life the experience of water and so engage people in stories that come from the scientific data that underpin cultural knowledge of behaviours that are necessary to maintain the natural flows and the vital balance between plants, animals and people.